Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels. If you've seen our comparisons on the D-series bulbs that we did for Philips and Osram, you guys probably thought they were pretty cool and they were pretty informative, but a lot of people wanted to see how do those two brands compare to Morimoto, which is a more uh, bang for the buck, a little bit more affordable. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take the best of the best from Osram, the best of the best from our uh, Philips shootout, and we're going to throw in the Morimoto and see how that fares. Going to go grab some bulbs off the shelf here in the warehouse and get right to it. Alrighty, so first thing is first, the D2S85122 XV2. Um, as you guys know, this was the king of the Philips shootout. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but if you guys want to see that shootout, recap why it was the best of the best, you can watch that here. And next, we will go ahead and grab the Osram D2S CBB. We actually just restocked these bulbs today. They were out of stock because of how popular they are. Again, I'm not going to talk about why they won the Osram shootout right now. If you want to find out, you can watch that shootout here. So I'll grab a set of those. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and grab a set of the D2S Morimoto XB 5500K bulbs because they are knowingly the brightest bulbs in the Morimoto lineup. Throw them in the ring and we'll see how they come out. Right here. Now to make things nice and even, we're going to go ahead and use a Morimoto D2S 4.0 by Xenon Projector and the same exact Denso Ballast. Uh, for our comparison, just to make sure that everything is under control and the results that we find are consistent. We'll go ahead and compare these things on a few dis different aspects, in including the color, because these are all fairly similar, and also, of course, the intensity, which is important to everybody. All right, so we have our Denso Ballast all set up here on the power supply. I've got the Morimoto Mini D2S 4.0 at our disposal. I'm going to use the same projector and ballast to conduct our test. Um, we are looking at only D2S bulbs here because those are the most common in our industry. And really, again, these results can be carried throughout the rest of the product line. So regardless of whether you're using D1S, D2S, D3, or D4, the results that we will find here today should be applicable regardless of the bulb size. Uh, so we're going to start it off with the Osram D2S CBB, the Cool Blue Boost. This is my personal favorite. I'm uh, kind of an Osram fanboy myself, so I will say it gets the uh, TRS mat nod of approval. We'll go ahead and fire this one up. We'll show you what, you what the Kelvin rating looks like. Again, in our opinion, it's quite white. Osram rates it at 7,000 K, but we think that it's uh, a little bit lower than that, a little bit closer in range to the 5,500 K or the uh, Philips's uh, 4,800 K here. So we'll go ahead and start it off with the CBB and uh, show you what the results look like. All right, so we're floating, it uh, looks like we're fully warmed up here on the Osram CDB, and we're floating right around 364, 365 lux on the meter. Doesn't look like it's getting any higher than that, so it's fully warmed up again. 360, we'll call it 364. Yep, all right. All right, we'll go ahead and load the uh, Morimoto, the D2S XB uh, 5500K into the projector now. This is the one that has not been tested yet, so uh, really curious to see how this one is going to compare all in all. Um, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that the XB does cost a fraction of what the others do. Um, you can buy about four pairs of these bulbs for the price of one set of the Osrams or the Philips. So uh, regardless of what the intensity says, there's no doubt the uh, bang for the buck will be there. Let's see what the Lux meter reads. I'm trying to give it the same amount of time to warm up. 319, 321. Move it back over here just for consistency sake. Yeah, 321, 324, 323. Yeah, about 320, yeah, 321, 323. So we'll call it 322 is the average, uh, which is not, not, not bad. Not too bad, 322. So it's uh, not as bright as the CBB, but again, I mean, for a quarter of the price, not too shabby. And, uh, you know, color looks great. I mean, nice and pure white. I don't have any complaints about that. All right, so we got the uh, Philips, the XV2 fired up now. Um, again, in our last test, these tested to be extremely bright. So we're going to see how those fare today and uh, judging by the color too. 
Okay, so yeah, we got the Philips the XV2 here. I mean, I, standing back a little bit, I can definitely tell you it is a warmer color temperature compared to both the Morimoto and the Osram uh, CDB. Um, you know, by Philips, it is rated at a lower color temperature too, so it doesn't look like there's anything off there in terms of uh, what the eye can see. I would definitely give it more of a warm white compared to a pure or cool white like the Philips. Uh, move this over just a little bit right here. I want to make that consistent. Um, I'm seeing 495, 4, uh, 420, 421, 421, 419. Yeah, so Philips, the XV2, uh, we're pushing about 420 lux on the meter, which is undoubtedly the brightest bulb here. So, um, yeah, compared to the other ones too, I mean, you know, again, if you want the most actual intensity regardless of the Kelvin rating, or if you don't mind a slightly warmer Kelvin rating, the, uh, the Philips XV2 is going to be the clear winner there. Uh, really not much I can say about that. Um, you know, I guess the other thing to consider is that if you're somebody who drives frequently in, you know, pretty bad weather, be it fog, snow, rain, or whatever, warmer color temperatures are actually pretty desirable because that warmer light actually tends to penetrate through particles in the air a little bit more effectively than the cooler temperatures do. So again, for all around visibility and actual usability, Philips, hard to beat. If you want bang for the buck, well, yeah, the Morimoto, it did not produce quite as much lux as the others, but it was still a very uh, reasonable and respectable um, option here. Um, and again, the Osram uh, CDB, solid choice all around. We hope you enjoyed our little comparison here with the Philips, the Morimoto, and the Osram bu uh, bulbs, and of course, our right-hand drive special, uh, Morimoto D2S 4.0. Cheers.